nearly 400 Chinese soldiers stood at attention at a United Nations camp in Mali to receive a special honor. The Peace Medal of Honor represents the highest accolade to our peacekeeping efforts. The medal recognizes contributions to human peace by UN peacekeeping forces. Their dedication, their motivation, and the discipline is the key for all those uh, effective and successful work they have done so far. This is the fifth Chinese peacekeeping force to Mali, which has been battling Islamist extremists in the north. It's been in the country since 2013. China is one of the largest contributors of UN peacekeeping troops in Africa. Last July, Chinese troops began a mission in Djibouti to help in humanitarian and peacekeeping efforts in Africa and West Asia. The establishment of the base will help Chinese vessels escort missions in the Gulf of Aden and Somalia, as well as international obligations such as humanitarian rescue missions. It also stimulates the social and economic development of Djibouti. Beijing emphasized it as a support facility to help establish security in the region. It helps China to continue to make even greater contributions to the peace and stability of Africa and the rest of the world. In 2015, President Xi Jinping announced China would set up a permanent UN peacekeeping force of 8,000 troops and provide $100 million to the African Union. Africa has the biggest peacekeeping needs. In the long run, the international community and the UN should support African countries in increasing their own capacity in keeping peace and stability so that African issues can be addressed in an African way. For years, Chinese troops have also contributed to anti-piracy efforts off the coast of Somalia and sent military medical teams to nations battling the Ebola virus. Beyond the African continent, China also has troops in Lebanon, trying to keep the peace on the border with Israel. According to the People's Liberation Army, as of last year, about 36,000 Chinese have served in UN peacekeeping missions over nearly 30 years. Francis Ko, CGTN.